Good afternoon. In this video, I'm going to talk about the apostasy, which is, of course, in Greek, apostasia, the falling away, and new revelation on the apostasy. This morning, I asked my father when I was praying, I said, Father God, do you have meat for the body of Christ? And he sure did. Uh, I'm going to be in 2 Thessalonians 2, 3 to maybe, I don't know, I'll decide, maybe till 7, I don't know. Okay, so I'm right here, I'm going to be in 2 Thessalonians 2. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by the letter, as from us, as the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Let me repeat this right here because it's the Bible is going to confirm it. It says, Thessalonians 2, 3, let no man deceive you by any means that for that day shall not come except there be a falling away first and then that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. The falling away, we are the falling away, we are the apostasy. How is that possible? Okay, I'm still in 2 Thessalonians 2, 7. It says, For the mystery of iniquity doeth already at work. Only he now letteth let until he be taken out of the way. Who's going to be taken out of the way? The body of Christ. Why? We are born again in the Spirit. We have received the Holy Spirit. We are born again. So 2 Thessalonians 3, it says, uh, Let no man deceive you by any means that that day shall not come except the, the, there come a falling away first, a falling away first, and that that man of sin be revealed. Okay, 2 Thessalonians 2, 3 equals to 2 Thessalonians 7 and 8. It equals 2 Thessalonians 3. It says, For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth let, will let until he be taken out of the way, the body of Christ, and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Okay, what am I talking about, right? Well, what am I talking about? Well, Father God gave me a revelation, Holy Spirit. Let me tell you, I was, I'm going to be just as surprised as you were. We are the apostasy. What does apostasy stand for, right? The apostasy is the falling away. Isn't that what it says in 2 Thessalonians 2, 3? It says that, he, it says, for that day shall not come except there be fall, a falling away first. And then that sin, that man of sin be revealed, which is exactly Thessalonians 2, 7, and 8. Okay? What does it mean? You see, the apostasy is, the, apo the people that are going through the apostasy, these people are so hated because... We have the Holy Spirit, and they don't understand it. So we are the falling away. We are the apostasy. Why? It says the definition is the abandonment or renunciation of a 
religious or political system. The religious system is the Vatican. This is the meaning of it. Political, the new world order, the government system. So there's two systems that the apostasy, that this is why the apostasy is going to be so hated. Why? Because we have abandoned and renounced the religious system, which is the, the Pope and the Vatican. And the political system is the new world government. We no longer believe in the real, we have abandoned and renounced the religious system, which is the Papa, the Pope, and the Vatican. And the political system is a new world government system. We have abandoned those two systems, both of them. We have rejected. We have said no to your lies, no to the false doctrine. This is incredible new, new, new news. And today I was in prayer right before noon. I was in prayer and I said, Father God, do you have a message for the body of Christ? And I was very specific. I said, Father, we need the meat. We can no longer uh, survive on milk. We need meat. And boy, he sure delivered. Let me tell you something. Um, um, apostasy, the fall, it's a falling away. It's, 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 it's a departure. It's a departure and abandonment and renunciation of the religious and political system in the world. And that is the rapture. Because it says the definition is desertion, desert, desert, deserting, a willful falling away, a false doctrine. So a falling away, the apostasy means we have willfully rejected religion and political systems in the world. This to totally blew me, my mind away when Father God, Holy Spirit, gave it to me. I, I, I was in awe, and the fact that 2 Thessalonians 2, 3, and 2 Thessalonians 2, 7, and 8 is the same thing. So the Bible just confirmed. The Bible always com confirms the word of God. It says to Thessalonians 2, 3, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed as a son of perdition. Oh my goodness, people, we are so there. We are so there. The falling away and the apostasy is rejecting false doctrine, rejecting the political system. That is the apostasy. The apostasy is the true believer coming against false doctrine and the new world order government system. I'm telling you, this is, and, and the falling away is going to happen. When? When we are so rejected, so hated. Remember, Jesus said in his own words that because I was hated, so, were, so, so are you going to be hated for me. We are so there. We are so, so there. So people, this is the meat. This is the meat. Father God gave me exactly what I asked him during prayer time today at about 11.30, 11.45 this morning. And how, how ironic. There is no such thing as a coincidence. By noon, by noon today, he gave me the revelation of 2 Thessalonians 2, 3, and 2, 7, and 8. They mean exactly the same thing absolute confirmation that we are rejecting the Vatican we are rejecting we are rejecting uh, the false religion 
we are rejecting the new world government systems. There's two of them, okay? There's two of them. This is, it's the rapture. This is it. It says in 2 Thessalonians uh, 2, it's uh, 1. It says, now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering unto him that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by the word nor by the letter as from us that that day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Wow, let me tell you something. I was completely, completely, completely taken by this revelation that Father God and the Holy Spirit revealed to me. Um, this is amazing. This is utterly amazing, people. We are there. We are there. We have rejected the Vatican, the religious system. We have rejected the government system, and the political system. We have completely rejected it, and for that, we are hated, and we are frowned upon. People, we are the apostasy. We have rejected everything that the world has to offer, which is false doctrine and the new world order, which is, they're both of them, they're both religious, and political government systems. We willfully, it says, uh, the apostasy means defection, desertion, departure, a willing and falling away from false doctrine. We willingly left religious practices, false doctrine, and political systems, the New World Order government systems. We are the apostasy. Wow! <laughs> I couldn't begin to tell you how excited I am. I have a different, completely different way of thinking and looking at things right now. Completely. Go read it for yourself, 2 Thessalonians 2, 3, and 2 Thessalonians 2, 7, and 8, equal to 2 Thessalonians 2, 3. Confirmation, confirmation, confirmation on all counts. On all counts. Okay? I love you guys. Bring it to Father God. Bring it to Holy Spirit. I love you, and I'll talk to you later.